What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to talk about what is shutter actuations and how do you find it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your shutter actuations and how it can play a role in the life of your camera. So where do you find your camera shutter count? It's pretty easy actually. I know there's two websites that a lot of photographers use. But one of the camera shutter count websites I do use is camerashuttercount.com. Another popular one is checkshuttercount.com. Either way, they're pretty straightforward and really easy to use. I'm going to use camerashuttercount.com. First, you get your camera and take a picture. The picture can be of anything. Make sure it's a JPEG though. Put that image onto your computer, then go to one of the two camera shutter count websites. Click on choose file, find the picture you just took and click open, then press upload. And that's how easy it is to get the shutter count on your camera. Shutter actuations or shutter count is the number of times the camera's shutter mechanism takes a picture. So each time you take a picture, the shutter opens and closes. One image equals one shutter. So think of it as your camera's mileage. I know people will say shutter actuations or shutter count and it's basically the same thing. Seasoned photographers will know what you're talking about. Finding out how many shutter actuations is on a camera will help you indicate the camera's usage and lifespan. Most cameras have a manufacturer rated shutter. For example, according to Nikon, my D3100 has a shutter light of 100,000 actuations. This is how many shutter actuations my Nikon D3100 has. So if you're new to photography, understanding shutter actuations is pretty important, especially if you want to know how often the camera was used and how much life it actually has left. So if you're buying a used camera or you're thinking about selling your camera, I think it's a major factor in considering the camera's value. The higher the shutter count, the less the value is going to be. And the lower the shutter count, the more the camera is going to be worth. But that just really depends on how much someone values that camera. For example, I've seen the legendary Nikon D700 bodies go on sale between $350 for $400 with higher shutter counts. But with the lower shutter count, I've seen them go between $450 to $600 with that low shutter count. That's just an example of how a lower shutter count can really raise the value of the camera. So now you know your camera's shutter count, it's also a good indication of the condition of the camera too. I'll also add there are a lot of factors that roll into the condition of the camera and how it will perform too. Like whether, how it's been used, if it's been dropped, if you use different batteries, and so much more. But at least you can tell if the camera's been a workhorse just by looking at the camera. If the rubbers are missing, if there's scratches on the bottom, or if wear and tear on the body, that's how you know it's been a workhorse. It's definitely gonna play a major factor on the price and value of the camera. So if you are looking for a camera to buy, just ask the seller what the shutter count is on that camera. Share this video with them if they don't know what they're doing or how to do it because it is very straightforward and very easy to do. And if they can't tell you, that's kind of a red flag. I will just stay away from that camera. It's January 2024 and I feel like this is a really good starting point for you and for me just to find out what the shutter counts are on the cameras. I'm going to record all of my camera's shutter count just to see how much I've used it this year. Uh, right now, I think the highest shutter count camera that I have is my Nikon D3. This is how many shutters it has, and it's rated at 300,000 shutters. And I'm well under that. And that just goes to show how good this camera is too. But if you're interested in my review on the Nikon D3, check out my channel and you can find it there. I love using my cameras whenever I can. Follow me on Instagram and my socials because whenever I go on trips, you vote and I'll take that camera and lens with me and I'll just use it. And most of the time it's pretty interesting too, just because it can be very random lenses and with an older DSLR. I think the highest shutter count that I had was my first Nikon D700. Before I sold it, it had 165,000 shutters on it and it was still performing like it was brand new too. So it just goes to show if you do care for your camera, it will last a really long time. And if you're interested about learning more about those cameras I listed earlier, check out my channel because I've done reviews on those cameras as well. And if you do have an older Nikon DSLR, please leave a comment below and let me know what camera you have and how many shutters you have on it. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya.